Come on, you big dumb idiots. There you go. You can see. Oh, not a monster because of his size. He's a monster because of his tenacity to eat. At least more than you and I do. Like, no cap. There's no way. <laughs> oh, he sees it. He sees oh, it. Oh, he, he sees, sees it. it. Oh, he sees it. Oh. Welcome back to Ross Watch, guys. In today's video, I bought one of the world's hungriest fish for the fish room. You'll see what I mean in a second. But before we get into today's video, just like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. And so, in today's video, we're going to be going out to the pet store and buying one of the world's hungriest fish. This thing is a complete menace. We might even do a, a feeding by the end of today's video. But before we do that, guys, I actually have some bad news. We need to save one of the aquarium fish in my fish tank. Now, if you guys remember, we caught those red tail catfish the other day and threw them in this tank right here. Now, the problem is with this tank, right? Well, actually, there is no issue with the tank itself. But with these fish, the red tail catfish we caught, for whatever reason, two of them just refused to eat. So we're actually going to have to force feed some of these catfish to try to save their lives. So we're going to do that right now. And then we're going to bust down a feeding of all the fish in the fish room, as well as the tank outside, and give you an update on all the fish we're currently keeping, and do some tank maintenance, as well as work on the fish room before we get this new fish. One of these red tails is super super starving i just put a mosquito fish in his throat and he actually took it down so i'm gonna keep trying to force feed this one and try to save him i just loaded up this little piece of food in his mouth let's put him back in the water and see if he takes it down no way no way oh my god he just swallowed it we're going to be able to bring this guy back from the dead let's check it buddy did you swallow i'm sorry for messing with you a little bit but no way. We're going to be able to feed him ourselves. So you know how I have those red tails? So this is one of them, right? There was two of them that were not eating. I couldn't get them to eat at all. And then right now, I just scooped them out of the tank because I thought they were completely dead. And if you look at his stomach right now, see how it's kind of fat? It's gaining size. It's because, look, I just gently open his mouth very gently. Hey, I need his tongue to come back. So I use my finger to push his tongue down, hold it open. And then I've just been sliding these back in there putting him back in the water look look he's gonna look real bad and then he's gonna swallow it look see see he's chewing it just got to get it behind the throat swallow big boy if it's too big we'll throw in him a little smaller one. Oh, oh he's taking it down you see how the tail's slowly getting smaller yo did he just swallow it look he's swallowing it oh <laughs> Dude, I might have been able to just save this red tail from starvation. This is one of the wild caught ones we just got, and they wouldn't eat for sh anything. They wouldn't eat at all. I tried giving them live, they just wouldn't eat. But this guy, I think I've successfully been able to get to eat some of these feeders, literally just by hand feeding him. You gotta be very delicate. You don't want to risk breaking their jaw. These are small little fish, but literally, I'm just rifling these down in there. Get Try to push the throat. This would be ideal with tweezers. If I had tweezers, I'd literally be able to push him past his throat. Look, that's like literally in his belly now. And all I gotta do is let him do the rest of the work. Come on, bull. You got it. You got it. I don't know if he's getting bullied by the other ones or what was happening. He's still not doing the greatest, but we're trying to get him eating at least. I got three little feeders in him. Hopefully he's going to recover. He's not looking the greatest even still, but he at least has some food. So I'll probably be able to keep him alive. If you look at his belly, his belly is super, super fat now. It was completely... Completely depleted. He was actually upside down in the tank. I knew he was starving. I just couldn't get him to eat anything. So last resort, I said, you know what? We're gonna try our best to get him some food. And so I literally force fed that fish some food. Just now you watch it, we just saved his life. Hopefully he's able to recover. Also guys, everybody drop a huge thank you to Jack Randolph for getting this air pump off the wish list. We're gonna be setting this up in the fish room today as well. All the fish that we currently are keeping are doing extremely well. We still have the 300 gallon tank right here. Stand ready for the tank itself. I'm thinking about hiring some movers to move the tank itself simply because the tank is so heavy. I don't wanna risk me and my friends picking it up and trying to get it this high. The stand itself is four feet tall. So bringing that several hundred pound tank up four feet would be kind of difficult. However, this cichlid tank is doing really, really well. I'm curious to see if we'll be able to find the catfish in here today. We added two catfish from last video from that sewer into this tank, and I've actually gotten all these cichlids in here. All these are wild caught, and all of them are eating. So we're going to feed them right now. Now, all the little mabunas do eat this stuff right here, and they've been, oh wow, that's a lot of food, but we're doing a water change in just a few seconds, so it's no big deal. And we've also got all the wild caught eastern happy cichlids to eat on these pellets as well. So 
some of the Vinesh and the big Mabunas come through and eat also. This is that male Eastern Happy Stickle we caught from last video. Can you see how much color he's got? He's super fired up. If the sun was out right now, he would look insane. And I've successfully gotten the big Mabuna, or not the big Mabuna, the big Vanessa Cichlis to eat some of these pellets as well. So I dropped that in. I'm gonna take a step back just so they get a little bit more comfortable. And as soon as they realize I dropped that food in there, they're gonna smack it. Come on, you big dumb idiots. There you go, there you go. See, look, these cichlids are now eating great. Some of the bigger guys will come up here too now that they see the other cichlids eating. But these guys are looking great and they're doing very, very well in 120 gallons. So we're gonna get them really well fed before we rip this water change. And that Eastern Happy Cichlid is looking incredible. They're almost like a rainbow color, but these guys are all doing well. We're gonna let them finish eating up. Oh, look, right here, guys. One of the sun catfishes came out. He's looking pretty good. Oh, look, both of them came out. They're kind of like chilling together, doing their little catfish things but it seems like they really like the flow and i'm gonna give you guys an update on the platy pond oh yeah robbie how was that tilapia you ate the jaguar sickle you ate in last video it was actually really good it was like, good it was amazing Hell no yeah. stomach problems yet. oh do you want to see the new fish i got today yeah bro you'll see they're weird what's up Josh? well now that the big boys are well fed and all the little mabuna have been eaten up we're gonna jump over to the big old my army of platies right we're gonna go to the platy army and feed them as well they've been doing super well wilson's still in there the fish that survived the house fire still in there doing awesome oh yeah i just spooked a bunch of them but yeah this thing is crawling with platies the glare makes it super hard to actually see them but i'll try to get in a position to feed them so you guys can see them as best as you can but i'll sit right here and drop in the pellet oh that's a lot that's a lot but there's a lot of plants in here and a lot of platies so it'll be fine and look the little army of them you can see oh <laughs> yeah look we have probably a couple hundred platies in here at this point in time all sorts of colors eventually we will probably get them into a tank but for the time being they're in this tub it's not warm enough really for them to breed but in last video if you guys watched it you know we added a couple massive females that were pregnant so pretty soon sure enough they'll probably have a bunch of oh my god Dude, there is so many. But soon enough, guys, we will have a bunch of platies. I mean, just a disgusting amount. The babies will be able to hide in all these plants right here. So this tank is doing great. Now we're going to jump back into the fish room to finish out the rest of the feeding. And then do a water change on everything. And we'll go to the store and pick up this monster fish I've been telling you guys about. He's not a monster because of his size. He's a monster because of his tenacity to eat. We'll probably try to do a feeding video of him today as well. Um, I'm going to give him some time to just adjust to the tank. You know, I don't know if he'll eat right away, but we'll try. We'll give it a shot. I'm probably gonna get him a fish the same size of his, the same size as himself, and see what he does with it. Now we got the army of pakus in here, guys. We got clickbait and the gang, as well as all the sharks in this tank. We're gonna do one last feeding before the water change. Oh look, and that fire eel from last video. Now I know you guys are probably upset there's not so many hides in really any of these tanks, but I actually am in contact with a wholesaler to try to get a lot of driftwood and a lot of plants for these tanks. Oh, I also moved that little albino catfish into this tank as well because he looked a little too small to be with the red tails and the tiger shovel nose. But this tank we're not going to dump food in. We're going to grab some little like a pinch and just drop this in and let them go to town. So we got all the sharks in here and all the Paku, these guys are going to be some monster fish that we're going out for the 300 gallon tank and they might not eat with me sitting right here but they probably will as soon as the Paku's locked on they'll they'll go to town like they'll absolutely destroy this the sharks i've realized like you don't really notice when you see a fish every day, but these sharks have been growing super super well today we might go out and grab a pool pond and start setting that up as well oh they're getting curious let me back up and see if they'll eat oh the Paku are coming in <laughs> yeah so the Paku have been doing great, eating super well. The sharks have been pretty good about eating as well. But all these fish in this tank should grow up. See that a little iridescent shark just came in flying for some food. So I'm pretty happy with everything in this tank. But all the albinos we did have ended up crashing out. But clickbait and the gang, all these little Pakus and the little shark. Oh, did that catfish? Oh, this catfish is eating pellets now. Oh, if he's eating pellets, we might be able to train the red tails and the tiger shovel nose onto pellets as well. But they seem to all be doing well. Oh, dude, that is so hype that catfish is eating pellets. That's so perfect. Look at them. Oh, yeah. You know what? Just for before the water change, we'll drop in some pellets for those other catfish as well to see if they eat. If that albino is doing it, then I'm sure they might as well. But we got these cichlids right here. We'll drop in a good amount of food for them just for the time being. The tank looks a little musty right now because I need to clean the glass. But you can see all these wild-caught finesta cichlids that we got from that one pond are doing incredible as well. 
everybody is doing amazing. And that Oscar, he's low key the tank boss. I saw him pushing around a couple of these cichlids and it looks like they actually need more food. So we'll just drop it out. <laughs> we'll drop it a lot because we're about to do a water change. And I see if some of them are putting on size as well. So pretty soon guys, within due timing, everything will come together. But these guys, I might actually move to a different tank so that we could house that one fish right by the door. And it'll be super fun to watch him eat. And we'll see if these guys eat any of these pellets right here. They just dropped some pellets in. Let's see. Come on. If we're hitting them right in the face. See, they have no interest in pellets. I gotta get them live feeders. More live feeders, at least. <laughs> the Bretto woke up a little bit, but I don't know if he's gonna eat any of these pellets either. That would be ideal, but I don't think they really want these pellets, man. I think they only want feeders. So now with all the feedings out of the way, I'm gonna knock out water changes and show you guys the finished tanks when they're all cleaned up. We'll start building up on the fish room a little bit, getting a little bit, we'll probably run out and grab some lights as well. And you just get to work, just get to work. And now I've got every single tank in the fish room filled up with some water. We're going to let that last tank right there. We're gonna let that last tank fill up the rest of the way. And then we're gonna grab some lights for the tanks in the fish room. I'm thinking linkable shop lights. That should be pretty good. And while we're out, we're gonna go pick up that monster fish I've been telling you guys about. I'm so excited to get it for the feeding videos. You guys you guys are gonna love him. I'm thinking about naming him Big Gulp or like Low Gulp, something like that. Um, you'll know why in a second, but I am stoked. I'm so sorry for the audio and I know it's going to be annoying, but I got this little thing rigged up. I got, I got two screws in it. It's a little ratchet, you know what I mean? But that's kind of how I do things. But the air quality is so much stronger. Shout out to you for using the wish list. I thank you so much for that. And I still got two more ports to hook this up to. So we'll be able to get ample air to every single tank on the rack. And we're only going to be using sponge filters. So this is kind of perfect. So now we're going to run into Walmart to get the rest of the supplies for the fish room. And we might even be moving moving the 300 gallon tank onto the stand today. I know Robbie and Timmy will be around. Zach might be around and Gerald might be around. So we might have five people to move it, which is definitely enough. When I initially moved the tank into the apartment way back when, I don't know if any of you saw that. Um, we did do it with four people. So, and no shade to my friend Diego, if you're watching this, but he's not the biggest. We had another really tiny guy and then it was me and a normal sized dude so it might happen today which if it does will be lit so we're going to be looking for shop lights and a pond if they have a pond in here like a pool pond we'll grab one of those and start setting that up so that when the weather warms up again i'll be able to go out and look for some pond monsters i know a few locations that actually have some so we probably will try to fish those once i get this pond up and that will be wired to the lake you know how it goes but we're gonna run in and see what we can find they only have two of these shop lights in stock but it'll give us an idea of whether or not we actually like them on our tank and with the lights on it seems like the catfish are getting a little bit more active you can see the tiger shovel nose right here we got two purebreds we're gonna try to feed them some shrimp today to see if they eat better this thing can eat fish i think the same size as its body length so later we'll be doing a feeding of this guy oh, it looks fat bro it eats like a tank it eats it eats more than you and i do like no cap there's no way <laughs> <laughs> no it does it does it just came yeah dude he's so thick he's dummy thick but did he eat before yeah he he ate yesterday we're gonna probably try to feed him tonight and so the world's hungriest catfish guys is this goldfish right here i'm just kidding obviously not in this tank right here i added in the fish that we bought the gulper catfish now you see him back there he's a little small we're about to try feeding him live for the first time and i might honestly try to just hold the goldfish in my hands to make it easier on him. but before we do that i have some cut up shrimp we still haven't gotten these fish to eat on camera yet so i'm gonna put the little goldfish right here it'll be chilling but these catfish right here i still have not gotten to eat on camera the red tails in here he's hiding behind the sponge filter but the tiger shovel nose are right here so we're gonna drop this right here for, oh, they're spooked, they're spooked, but maybe just, nope, they're spooked. See, they're so, so skittish, but I'm hoping maybe they realize that there's some shrimp in the tank. I don't think they'll be eating on camera for us right now. We'll give it a couple seconds just to see if they eat it. If not, I'm gonna probably leave it in overnight, and if they don't eat it, we're just gonna remove it from the tank. But I'm just gonna make sure I get all the little shrimp bits off my hand. Let's see, oh. Oh, he's getting curious. Look at that silly catfish, man. For whatever reason, they just don't like to eat in front of us yet. They're still really small, so they might just not be comfortable doing so. But we're gonna let them hang out with that food and give them some time to try to find it and give them some time alone with the lights off. Just like me and Cameron. No, I'm like... And so right here, guys, we have the gopher catfish's meal now. Typically, I don't like live feedings. It's just kind of a thing of mine. But 
this is the only way this guy eats. At least it will be for a long, long time. So if you guys have any fun feeding suggestions where we do a little feeding video of the gopher catfish and you want to do something different other than a goldfish, let me know and comment down below and we'll try to throw them something fun. I just got to get this out of the bag. Oh, dude, the goldfish is no match for this gopher. This gopher could definitely munch this guy. I intentionally got a fantail instead of a comet because I figure this guy will move a little slower and it'll probably be easier for our little gopher to eat it. So right here we have, oh, I feel bad, no cap, but big man's got to eat. So I think we should name him Big Gulp or Gulp or something of that nature. If you guys want to name him something else, comment it down below. Okay, Gulp is being a little silly. <laughs> Look at the chunkster. But we're gonna drop this goldfish in right here and see if he finds it. If not, I'm gonna try to hold it in front of his face. Oh, he sees it, he sees oh, it. Oh, he, he sees, sees it. it, oh, he sees it. Oh, oh, he's on it. Oh, please, please eat it. Yo, he, dude, I don't know if he sees it or he was able to sense that my hand was in there. Look, now he's sitting over by where my hand just was. Oh, he's so chunky and cute, buddy. You gotta get the goldfish. They're kind of like an ambush predator. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my hand back in here again. Actually, maybe if we just scare the goldfish. Oh, he's going over to it. I think naturally the goldfish will try to school. Go, go, go. Mmm. <laughs> back that way. Oh, right in his face. Oh. I've never seen one eat, so if we get it on video, I'm gonna freak out. But you see how slow the gulper catfish is? That's why I wanted to get him some, like something slow to eat, because he doesn't move very fast. Okay. What I'm gonna try to do is, I'm gonna try to hold the goldfish in front of it. All right guys, so I got the goldfish. We're gonna try to just slide him right in front of the gopher cat and see if the gopher cat ends up eating it. Oh no, don't spook it. They eat their prey head first. So if he's gonna eat it, he's gonna take it by the head. Maybe he doesn't want me to hold it. Hmm. Hmm. It's been a few hours guys and the goldfish is still standing. So I don't think gulp is gonna be eating it. But the catfish down here seemed to have taken down some of the shrimp we left in here. So I'm going to leave the rest of it. I don't know who ate what. They're all kind of huddled in the back corner right here. But we're just going to leave it in there just in case they're going to continue eating it. Well, I guess we didn't get Big Gulp to eat tonight. It is the first day we have him. So I'm sure he'll eat in the future. If you guys want updates on Big Gulp, make sure you like the video, subscribe channel, and comment down your name suggestions for Big Gulp. I think Big Gulp or Lil Gulp is a good name or even just Gulp, but that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.